And when I first shifted to the new house here, uh, we we're in a city with a chlorinated water supply and uh, my instant coffee, which I'd been drinking for years, suddenly tasted terrible and I couldn't figure out why that might be. So I thought, alright, well, uh, what's the story? So anyway, it was made by Nestle, so I called them up and I said, hey, my instant coffee is tasting terrible. Uh, maybe I got a bad batch here. Uh, have you guys changed the way you make it? Uh, she, she said, the woman on the phone said, no, we haven't changed anything. Okay, but I'll send you a check for 10 bucks to compensate you for your uh, lack of satisfaction. Okay, so the check arrived, cash it, no worries. And I carried on thinking about this, and I wasn't drinking much instant coffee, and I thought, oh, actually, I do like the, the particular brand, Nescafe Gold, uh, which I know North Americans won't know about it. I, it's probably some version of something in the taster's choice range, but uh, in New Zealand, Australia, and uh, East Asia, it's referred to as Nescafe Gold. It's the premium instant coffee, the one they charge you 50% more for. But it's the only one that's reasonably drinkable, so I drink it. Anyway, that's why I was t horrified to have the stuff suddenly tasting terrible. All right, fine. So then it struck me about the water. If the coffee hadn't changed, maybe something about the water had changed. So, okay. So I uh, did some research on the Internet and found that, in fact, people with chlorinated water... Uh, often do feel it tastes different and they really only notice if they've gone from a place that doesn't have it to a place that does and that's exactly what I'd done. The, the place where I was living was uh, bore water out of the ground, filtered several times, uh, finally through a carbon filter and radiated to kill bacteria and by the time it came out of the tap it was uh, pretty good stuff. So I, I went down and I thought well how am I gonna put water through a carbon filter because that was one of the suggestions they used for removing uh, chlorine from the water. And I went and got one of those uh, little filter jugs for your fridge just to try it out and I put the water in there it'll do about uh, 1.7 liters of uh, filtered water uh, and then you just keep topping it up anyway I tried that and you know blow me down coffee tastes fine so clearly uh, clearly the, the chlorine in the water had an impact on on the flavor of the instant coffee and it was a negative one too because it gave the instant coffee uh, this uh, taste that, like it was burnt like there was some kind of tar in it like like they'd scrape the pot out and then put it in the jar and it wasn't nice I didn't like it uh, whereas uh, getting the chlorine out of the water stuff tasted great uh, light smooth just like I was always used to